Great for Jerex. He's got the ensnare ready to go. He will be able to lock down Jerex. Let's see if they can actually finish him off. The disruption comes down from Jerex. Arch down, dropping lower and lower. Tries to go for the neutral, denying not good enough. And neutrals instead will deny Art Style. That was the best possible scenario for Navi as Art Style low, anyways. Very fortunately, Art Style here doesn't have mana available. It looks like they want to try to make a move. Should be a little bit of a problem. General does have the Chronosphere. Zulu, oh, he found it! What a perfect Chronosphere hitting three! They're gonna go for the kill on Jerex. We'll be able to claim that one, and Art Style <laughs> still gets away. What an initiation from General. And now Kuro may still be picked off. Goes the Sonic Wave. wave green. Sonic Wave goes out. Dendi, he actually managed to pick up the screen. He has an Arcane Wave. He has another. That's Liquid. It heal up, starts turning around. Having faith in this nature is that they gotta be careful. There is a chrono available for Gunner to do. With the Arts down the back line, they should easily be able to get the kill on Fauna until Matumba and slows things down with the Song of Siren. Dendi, that's another bling up in five seconds. Don't think they're gonna be able to do Man's actually quite low for this. They're gonna try and chase down Matumba Man, but here comes Mike Control. He's got the Vanguard too. They turn around onto Fauna. He still has the Exorcism. Another Spear Siphon as well. General not getting lucky with the back. Look at Till Zack then. He gets pulled up. Oh no! He ends up going down the ball. Oh no! He hit the back line. Down two, but Man just a sliver of HP, running away from Seneko, but Seneko got it! Seneko got it! Dives into the tier two, successfully killing the force. He trades his way, his own life, but even with the track kill, it's here. Not again, but still, the rest of these, okay, they're gonna run into my control. That's not the hero you wanted to run into, especially with that blade mail. They may still be able to hide around the control. Get this crowd out. My control pops the call for the extra armor. He's threatening that ultimate, but now Matumba Man gets sealed. Can he actually set this one up? No, they're just gonna TP out. And already used the silence out from Fauna. Oh, Matumba Man, though, might actually get a pick for this. He tries to actually dodge that Shadow Strike. Will be able to get off the deep up, eating up his progress. Here in full force. Real nasty, real quickly. They do have General on the side for the fresh blink dagger. They've already managed to pick off Kuro. They can get more here, especially a core. This would be huge for them. Blink forward. You get a back. Wow. First hit back for General. Just in time. Fauna goes out the spirit side for me. Here comes that burst damage. He doesn't have the opportunity to get away from that one. Jerex with the TP out. Blink forward. Oh, the core missing. General body was going to get a third hero from Liquid. Not the case here. It's going to be a huge fight. They're going to make the jump, but General gets the blink. Radiant quick reaction there from General. Now he has the opportunity to respond. He's going to time walk forward. Double Chronosphere. The rest of the team blinking forward. Dendi, no! Couldn't get off the Sonic Wave in time. But Tumba Man puts so everything to a halt with the Song of Siren. Now Mind Control. He's going to go straight for Zanagel. Wants to be able to take out that support first. But he gets the real quick. Dendi, silence, don't be kidding. Curl will be taken out by Art Style, looks like, but Art Style surrounded by a sea of liquid heroes. And on the right hand side, it looks like, oh, the ultimate comes out for Dendi. He managed to at least pick up the support there, but Mind Control still managed to claim a counter kill. And Liquid win the fight. Push in. Navi. Now he comes back. But where's the fight for them? See with that angle. Oh, no. He got way too far forward. He's going to be in there. Down silence as well. Make no one out of it. My control comes forward, gets the culling plate once again, and Ditchy Raw left with nothing but right click. Cannot keep Liquid off this tier 3 tower. With 15 more seconds still. Still, General is up with the Chrono Sphere. Dabi cannot afford to lose any more individual zeros, especially not for Here comes Heart Style. Heart Style, but it's gonna be able to get it. He said they couldn't afford another pick off, but it just happened. Liquid starts streaming forward, chasing Ditchy Raw back. The Exorcism beating onto the melee racks. It's just before the 30 minute mark. Right now, the Chronosphere comes in with the buyback. They need to be able to pop on it. They can't quite do it. The Exorcism about about to fade. He's going to TP out. Everybody from Liquid going to make the clean escape here. Not be desperate to try to pursue now because there's 10 more seconds till the Song of Siren is back up. But come on, no Song of Siren. And now the initiation mic control. Managing to get the call out on Art Style. They surround him. Going all from Dendi from the side, but it's just not quite enough. It's not putting the big enough dent in these cores. And Liquid are just pushing through on the right hand side. Navi getting quickly surrounded. Ditcheral also going to go down. And Navi splinter apart, leaving Roshan now in the hands of Liquid. And every single time that Navi is getting kills in this engagement, it's almost open fight. Come on, sprites! In which case, they need to be the one to
tempo. General managed to get the time walk away from Michael. Might be the opening they need. Bouncing a lot of damage back. Hard style in the middle of this. And Ango is going to be the first one down, though. Spot to get the sounds on him. Fuel Scepter on it. General stalling out the Chronosphere as best possible. Now disruption as well. Spot of PC. The calling right top. The tumble man right in the middle of the hubby face. Looking for more. My control finds it. Will be able to provide the assist with the play mail. Another dunk. Liquid taking a three to Navi and back out of Navi's base. And it looks like they want to transition this simultaneously an opening. And somehow Navi gets a, a miracle pull against Liquid and can kill Fada at secondary time. And as I say that, he takes a shot. Like again, one after another. Mind Control finding the pickoffs is beyond godlike right now. And Navi have no hope in being able to save this second lane of Rax. 15 more seconds until Dendi's up. Another 45 until Tichirar's Fury is alive. I think Navi, they have to learn their lessons. Give up the set of Rax, reset the fight, and at least try to find around that top lane of Rax instead of just suicide. Hero after hero, it looks like they're going to do just that. But without five available, I don't think Navi want to take this. And Liquid are going to leave pretty satisfied with two sets of Rax now taken. Three. This is going to be potentially the last fight for Navi. They can't afford to lose this one, and this is going to be the perfect target and for them to get. From the they're going to try and pop a tough man of manifest. Possible this disruption. Oh no, the save from the tough man is back out with half HP. Still has the Zog and Siren. Aren't they going to be able to get this kill there? They're just going to reset this fight. Auto with the BKB exits the mouth, but Tuba Man will give himself some space. And Navi is going to have to take himself out of the hole here. Big Ninja Rod trying to get some distance to the Hurricane Tech. Not going to be the case. Dineko is going to be able to survive it for only a second extra. General, the only one to escape, but he too will fall as Navi call it. The end of the game and the end of their run here. Fatigue comes down as you can see how excited Liquid are. Now they get to get to the best of threes where things aren't so random, but for Na'Vi, this is where it's going to all end.